question three is the solving the inequalities question. And we've got five marks for solving x squared is greater than or equal to the absolute value of 5x minus 6. So the first thing that we can do here, we've got our graphical calculator, is we can actually start working through um, this problem on the graphical. So we're going to use the um, graphing function and we'll put these two functions in. So we've got x squared, sorry, completely messed that up. There we go, we've got x squared and we've got the absolute value. So this is done by doing um, option number absolute value of 5x minus 6. Now some of you may know that there's then a way within here of actually solving that function, so using the solver, but we do need to show the algebraic methods for how we are doing this. So if we do our, our sketch as well, we can see we've got x squared, which our, our, our graph here shows us is slightly wider than our function, so we're kind of doing something like that for x squared. Now, we can then see that we've got our line coming down here to a point where it then goes off up here. Okay, so that's sort of a bit shaky on this uh, board here, but we can see that that should be our straight line. Now that's going to continue off and that does actually intersect up here as well. Okay, now if you're not sure about points of intersection, we can use the graphical to help us. So you can zoom in differently. You can also do the G solve, which is F5, and ask for the intersection, ISCT. And that will tell us that there's one at minus six and Y is 36. There's one at one, there's one at two, and there's also one at three that is just off the screen there. So they are going to be our solutions. And it's quite nice to know that where we're going with this. But as I say, you are not expected to just list them. You are expected to show your algebraic methods for finding them. But what we can see reasonably clearly from my picture is that there is going to be one, two, three, and four solutions. Okay, so I'm going to show you the algebraic way of finding this anyway. But as we say, we've got the solving function that sort of tells us we're on the right lines anyway. So the first two, this one and this one, they are found by doing the points where you've got x squared e, um, is uh, sorry is greater than or equal to 5x minus 6. It's not greater than, sorry, it's when it's equal to 5x minus 6. The second two are found when x squared equals the, um, the reflective part, so minus 5x minus 6. So that's the bit where you find this solution and this solution. So we're going to rearrange both of these into the form of quadratic, which we can then factorize and solve. So we've got x minus five, sorry, x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. And we've got x squared equals minus 5x plus 6. So when we rearrange that, we've got x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. Now, nicely, these both factorize. So this one factorizes with um, the, the 2 and the 3 there. So minus 2x minus 3. So multiply them together, we get minus 6. Add them together, we get... Sorry, multiply them together, we get plus 6. Add them together, we get minus 5. So that's those two. And this second one here, this one is going to factorize with a 6 and a 1. The 6 being positive and the 1 being negative. So that's where we get our four solutions from. So we have x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, x is equal to minus 6, and x is equal to minus 1. So there are our different solutions. So we're going to go back to our picture now, and I'm going to try and just tidy it up a little bit by removing a few of these um, circles, if nothing else. So these are our solutions. You've got your minus 6, you've got your 1, got your 2 and you've got your 3. So my picture is not particularly accurate, but we are now going to use this to help us solve this problem. We are looking for the parts of this function where x squared, the quadratic, is above, is bigger than 5x 
minus 6. So what we're looking for is if we were to imagine drawing a straight line up from x at a specific point, so let's go with here, for now this is our straight line up from x, we can see at this point that the function, the quadratic function, has a smaller y value than the straight line. We're looking for the, selection, for the sections where the quadratic has a bigger value than the linear function. So what I'm going to do is just sort of think about this here. So if we were to draw a line up from here, the quadratic is going to be above the linear function. So this section is a part that we want. Then we come down here and we can see that the quadratic is below the linear function. So that's not the sections that we want. So we'll get rid of those two. There's a bit that's really difficult to see because my picture is not very good. If we zoom in a little bit more, we can see that between 2 and 1, the quadratic line, the line, is above the function. And if you like, you can take my word for it and draw a better picture yourself. So we've got that section there. And then finally, if I were to draw a straight line up after the minus 6, again, our quadratic function is going to be off the page up there. So we're looking at this section here. Now, we don't actually need this picture. Um, the mark scheme doesn't say you need to have shown how you've worked this out. But I would do it graphically to then be able to do the classification. So the solutions, the times when the x squared is greater than the absolute value of 5x minus 6, is when x is greater than or, um, or equal to 3. And we're using the or equal to because that's what we've been given in the question. We've also got when x is smaller than or equal to minus 6. And then finally, we've got that small area when x lies between 2 and 1. Now, as I say, I've drawn a pretty rough sketch using um, this software. Um, but if you're a bit more accurate with your sketch, you will find that hopefully this section here certainly makes a bit more sense. But that's what we're looking for as our final solution for our five marks.